Hello. Some of the small finance banks have always offered higher interest rate on their fixed deposits. But financial planners have always asked investors to stay away from them. That's because these banks deal with borrowers from unorganized sectors. The perception is that these borrowers have a high default rate. As a result, these banks are perceived riskier compared to scheduled commercial banks. In the recent budget, the finance minister has hiked the insurance cover on bank deposits. The cover is now rupees 5 lakh compared to rupees 1 lakh earlier. The safety net of insurance makes a compelling case for investment in fixed deposits of small finance bank. Hi, I am Tinesh Bhaseen from Mint's personal finance team. In this episode of Why Not Mint Money, we will discuss whether individuals should invest in FDs of small finance banks. Many of these small finance banks are offering interest as high as 8 and 9% on the fixed deposits of 2 to 3 years. The interest rate on FDs of large banks such as State Bank of India, HDFC, ICICI Bank are around 6 to 6.5%. For senior citizens, small finance banks pay 50 basis point higher interest. So if a bank is offering 9% on an FD of 3 years, seniors will get 9.5%. This is even higher than the returns from senior citizen savings schemes, which is at 8.6%. We spoke to financial planners and investment advisors to seek their advice on whether individuals should invest in small finance banks fixed deposit. According to them, with a higher deposit cover, investing in FDs of small finance bank does make sense. But investors still need to be cautious. Like we discussed earlier, a bank's risk profile depends on the category of customers they are catering to. Small finance banks work with an unserved or underserved section of the population. They give credit to small business units, marginal farmers, entities in the unorganized sector and so on. Due to the profile of the customer base, these banks are riskier compared to large commercial banks. This could also be one of the reasons why these banks are paying a higher rate on their FTs. But they are well regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. Some of them even enjoy good credit rating, have sound lending practices, experienced management and a good financial metrics. So the question now is, what should you do? Depositors should restrict their exposure to 20 to 25% of their overall funds earmarked for FDs. Don't invest over rupees 5 lakh the amount which is covered under the insurance. Also, restrict your investments to a maximum of 4 banks only. Investors should also opt for smaller tenure FDs between 1 to 3 years. In the past, Cooperative banks were also aggressive, offering higher interest rate. Depositors rushed to them to earn higher returns. But after the Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank fiasco, investors have lost faith in this category of banks. The same can happen if there is a problem with even one small finance bank. It is therefore better for depositors to strike a balance in the amount that they want to invest. That's all from this episode of Buy Not Mint Money. Do stay tuned for more. Thank you.